All right, let's get started. Now, in this video, we're going to kick off our series of lectures on differential equations. Differential equations has a lot of great applications in math and physics. It's a really important topic to know. But before we get to that, we first have to deal with what is a differential equation? A differential equation is any equation that involves a function and its derivatives in, like, some expression. For example, uh, dy dt plus y is equal to zero. That's a very basic differential equation. Uh, differential equations are, you can see them quite a lot in physics, so one example you might have seen is, is L times second derivative of Q with respect to time plus R times the derivative of Q with respect to time plus one over C times Q is equal to E of t. This is a differential equation that they use in circuit theory a lot. And we use quite a lot of differential equations in a lot in modeling systems. So in this video what we're going to do is we're going to talk about like the basics, like the basic characteristics of differential equations. But before we do that we have to bring up two very important points. One is just a matter of convention. Because we're going to be writing a lot of derivative terms we have like a nice shorthand way of writing derivatives. We can say that like a derivative of y, we can write as dy dt or maybe dy dx or whatever independent variable we have here. We can say that this notation is the same as like y prime. And we can say that this note, we can also write it as y raised to uh, one in parentheses. When you, when you have like a number in parentheses, that means taking the derivative of this this many times as opposed to like an exponent. Uh, you may see this notation quite a lot because it's very handy once when we get into higher derivatives like the we can rewrite the nth derivative of y as dn y dt to the n or just y in parentheses to the n. This means the nth derivative of y. Just a bit of shorthand just to make life easier. Now the other important point before we get started is uh, we're going to talk about the solutions to differential equations. It's kind of different than what you've seen normally. Like If we go back to algebraic equations like x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, this is an algebraic equation. And the solution to an algebraic equation is just a value, like x is equal to 3 is a solution to this. But for differential equations, the solution is not just a value, it's a function. A function that satisfies like some expression. So if we go back to this example here, we can work out and uh, we can test and see if y is equal to e to the negative t. We can test and see if this is a solution to this differential equation. Don't worry about how we got this, but we'll get to that later. Well, let's just see if this satisfies this differential equation. So we can take the derivative of y, we get y prime is equal to e to the negative t times the derivative of the exponent, which is just negative e to the negative t. Then we can plug that back up in here. We get that derivative y plus y is just minus e to the negative t plus e to the negative t, which is equal to zero. So we say that this function satisfies this differential equation. So hence, this function is a solution to this differential equation. Now with those two things under our belt, let's go on and talk about characteristics of these differential equations. Um, the first topic we're going to talk about is ordinary versus partial differential equations. Ordinary differential equations mainly involve derivatives of uh, like a single variable function. Like f of x is a function of only one variable. And an ordinary differential equation involves like this and its derivatives, like d dx, total derivatives. A partial differential equation involves function involves functions of several variables, like f of x and y. 
Instead of total derivatives, we work with partial derivatives. Now, these two examples up here, these are examples of ordinary differential equations. y is just a function of t here, and q is just a function of t. But there are quite a few handy partial differential equations, like one common partial differential equation you might see is uh, the wave equation, which can describe like the displacement of a wave. Uh, we can relate that as the second derivative of u with respect to time is equal to c squared times the second derivative of u with respect to distance. Here, u is a function of x and t. And this is an, a differential equation that relates those two different derivatives. Now, in general, ordinary differential equations are much easier to solve than partial differential equations. And for that reason, we're going to be working a lot more with ordinary differential equations. So, um, the next topic related to differential equations, or the next characteristic or property, I should say, is that of the order of a differential equation. The order of a differential equation is the highest derivative term in that equation. So if we have the second derivative of y with respect to time plus the derivative of y with respect to time plus y is equal to zero, here we have a first derivative and here we have a second derivative. So we, the highest derivative is the second derivative, so we say that this is second order. Now it's important not to mix up like derivatives and exponents. Let's do an example to like show that out. What's the order of this differential equation? The third derivative of y with respect to time plus the derivative of y with respect to time raised to the fifth power plus, let's say, 4t to the fourth times y is equal to, let's say, 6y to the eighth power. Now here we have a lot of exponents. We have our function raised to an exponent, we have our independent variable raised to an exponent, we have a derivative raised to an exponent. But the order of this differential equation is still three, third order. Because even because this is like the highest derivative we take. Even though we take a derivative here and raise it to an exponent, we're not really concerned about the exponents. We're concerned about like the derivatives. So this is a third order equation. And in general, the lower the order, the easier it is to solve. Uh, we're mainly going to be working with first and second order differential equations, though you may see some higher order ones as well. Now, the last uh, major topic or property related to differential equations is that of linearity. Linearity. This is a very important concept. A linear differential equation is any differential equation that can be written in the form, let's say, a sub n of x times the nth derivative of y with respect to x plus a sub n minus 1 of x times the n minus 1 derivative and we can keep that going all the way down to a sub 2 of x times the second derivative of y plus a sub 1 of x times the first derivative of y plus a sub 0 of x times y all of this is equal to g of x so a differential equation of this form is a linear differential equation. Now these a terms, these can be constants or they can be functions of x, but the important thing is they are not functions of y or derivatives of y. Because if you notice, in every single term we have exactly one derivative expression. Like derivative of y to the uh, nth derivative of y, I mean, uh, an n minus one derivative of y, it's only one derivative term. Essentially, uh, you have a linear equation if you do not have like our function that we're interested in raised to an exponent, if you have a derivative of our function raised to an exponent, or if you multiply any of our functions of y times any of our derivatives of y. 
If you have any of these, that makes it a nonlinear differential equation. Now, linear differential equations are very, very nice and they're very pleasant to solve. And there are a lot of important properties that all stem from this concept of linearity. We'll get to that in a, in a later video. So in general, most of the differential equations that we'll be doing here, or the most that you'll see in class, will be linear differential equations. Now, there are two quick subsets of linear differential equations, and they all revolve around what this g of x term is. Oops. Uh, notice that this g of x term can't really be a function of y, so we have all the functions of y and all the derivatives of y on one side. And this can be like a function of x or a constant. But we say that if g of x is equal to 0, then we call this differential equation a linear homogeneous differential equation. And if g of x is not equal to 0, then we have a linear non-homogeneous differential equation. And we'll get to how to solve homogeneous and non-homogeneous differential equations later. But those are the main concepts that, that I want to try and like get across today. So in the next video, we'll be talking a bit more about solutions to differential equations.